Federico Valverde. Man has speed, vision and technique and has managed to make himself a key part of Real Madrid's team. However, what is it that makes him so good? Well, today I thought I would take a look at exactly that. So grab your notebooks and let's get going. Now, the first thing to learn from Valverde is running with the ball. This is a skill that's seen more and more in modern midfielders. The ability to carry the ball forward on your own. And the most effective skill move here is your acceleration and your body movement. So, the opponent expects you to pass the ball most of the time as a midfielder and thus it's often easier to beat the opponent midfielder than, let's say, the opponent defender. And to get better at this, find a cone and practice taking a quick and controlled touch in the direction of the opponent's goal. Maybe try to fake pass right before making this move and with all of that combined, you should be ready to go. Just remember that when you accelerate, make it explosive. Next up, we have the toe poke dribble. Now, you've probably seen this type of dribble many times, but maybe without noticing how effective it really is. So the toe poke dribble is when you use the full length of your body to do a small poke of the ball right before the opponent reaches it. And this is truly one of the most effective ways to beat an opponent because the opponent midfielder or defender thinks that he or she has caught you, but then right before they touch the ball, you give it a small touch to the side to trick them. Seriously, try it out. It's probably one of the most effective skill moves out there. You need the right timing and all that jazz, but give it a go. Third up, we have Valverde shooting. Now, he's a player who's not afraid of taking a shot, which as a midfielder often means shooting from outside of the box. And this skill is something that most coaches love, if you know when to use it, of course, because it creates another attacking option instead of just putting the ball in the box all the time. And one way of practicing this is to beat a cone and take a shot from around the edge of the box. Of course, try to put it outside of the goalkeeper's reach, even though you might not have a keeper. And if you have something to bounce the ball back off, you can also do a quick one-two and then take the shot. The most important thing is that you do it with match-like speed to simulate how it will feel in a real game. Because you won't have forever to take a shot in a match either. Now the fourth and final thing to learn from Valverde is being versatile. He can play as a midfielder, as a defender and even as a winger, which makes him able to squeeze into the team sheet wherever he's needed. And the more positions you can play, the more playing time you are going to get. It's that simple. And the most important thing to focus on when improving your versatility is your understanding of the game. Now, whenever you watch a football game, you should try to analyze more than just your favorite player. Look at two or three players in the match and understand how they play their positions, what's required there, how do you move, how do you cover as a defender, how do you basically spread the passes around as a midfielder. And if you have a smart football brain, you can basically play wherever. So my friends, four things to learn from Valverde. But who should we do next? Well, as always, let us know below. Make sure to buy your new boots from Unisport in the link right over there if you need any. Subscribe to the channel and maybe check out the playlist in the bottom of your screen if you like learning new skills and improving as a footballer. And with those words, I'll be signing off. Cheerio!